Applied Science International, dedicated to delivering science to society, introduces a breakthrough technology that will help redefine how buildings are constructed so they may more readily withstand extreme loads resulting from bomb blasts, earthquakes, and other natural disasters. Extreme loading software significantly increases the capability of engineers to evaluate structures and accurately determine a cost-effective strategy for minimizing damage and casualties. From sensitive critical infrastructure to large gathering places and treasured monuments, Extreme Loading Technology, or ELT, provides a means to safeguard life and property through a numerical process that is closer to physical reality than any other analysis method. ASI modeled the AP Murrah Building, bombed in 1995 in Oklahoma City, first to verify extreme loading software, and second, to study the effects of a structure under a series of blast loading scenarios, demonstrating the value of the technology. In the minutes leading up to the tragic event, a truck loaded with the equivalent of 4,000 pounds of explosives was located at the curb near the center of the nine-story reinforced concrete building. Within five seconds of detonation, the building lay in ruins, after having collapsed clear up to the roof. The explosion took out a supporting column, which was enough to cause the subsequent failure of a main girder and the progressive collapse of the building above this support. Analyzing a series of bomb locations illustrates the power of extreme loading software. First, the bomb is moved 65 feet east to the corner of the building. Here, progressive collapse occurs, although the overall destruction of the building is somewhat limited to the end bay. When the bomb is moved to a point 25 feet across the street from the original location, a considerable reduction of the blast pressure and its effect on the structure occurs. However, floor elements fail to resist the significant uplift pressures. Finally, the original explosion is duplicated after doubling the steel reinforcing bars in the main concrete girder. With the main girder intact and the columns above supported, the primary building structure sustains the blast. Again, the floor elements fail, demonstrating the importance of resisting the uplift pressures. The tragic events of 9-11 have alerted designers to the consequence of collisions precipitated by an aircraft, whether these are accidental or deliberately malicious in nature. Extreme loading provides the option of considering a multitude of load types, including the collision of disparate objects. The what-if scenarios begin to take shape with extreme loading software and its powerful solver capabilities. In earthquake-prone areas, designers can accurately predict what a building's performance will be during seismic activity. In addition, a clear understanding can be gained of how to plan a building's demolition and how it will perform in extreme winds, as well as how it might be affected by falling objects such as large boulders from a hillside. With extreme loading software, guarding against unforeseen circumstances is limited only by one's imagination. Let's examine the unique and powerful solver driving extreme loading software. In the past, design engineers have been limited to analyzing structures using an approach termed the finite element method, or FEM. FEM theory is based on bodies that do not physically separate. In very simple terms, an FEM model bends but does not break, or deforms but does not separate. While the breaking apart of materials is a significant phenomena occurring in nature, when applied to building structures, the damage resulting from the partial or full collapse of a structure is not apparent with the finite element method. After nine years of research and development, a new method termed the Applied Element Method, or AEM, has been completed offering the advantages found in FEM in addition to the separation of bodies. Extreme Loading Software utilizes AEM, opening the door for a comprehensive understanding of the scenarios that cause buildings to collapse and aiding in the prevention of these tragic events. AEM has the unique ability to determine not only when elements separate, but how they interact within their environment. Unlike FEM, 
where designers are burdened with determining points of contact and the location of interface elements at predetermined failure locations, Extreme Loading Software simplifies the inputs for point of contact, load, and object configurations when complex geometries impact a stationary structure. Guarding against extreme glass fragmentation is a critical element in preventing casualties. ELT allows for the use of exact window dimensions and material properties for glass or composites and frames so as to best determine stability and safety. By combining an accurate pressure wave with glass and structural behavior, ELT provides for a comprehensive understanding of risks and opens the door to the possibility of adding internal finishes to furniture as yet another safeguard for personnel and property. With AEM being an efficient, non-linear, dynamic program, a structure subjected to severe earthquakes may be analyzed and the associated risk of collapse determined. By integrating a pressure time history of blast loads, AEM creates a powerful numerical-based tool, enabling engineers to move beyond current empirical evaluations and allowing for the inclusion of surrounding structures and protective barriers. Applied Science International is dedicated to delivering science to society and offers extreme loading technology to bring clarity to one of the most complex design issues of the 21st century. Don't hesitate. Simulate.